Tom Tugendhat. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. And may I also pay tribute to the Honourable Lady for securing this urgent question on such an important matter. Her campaign for her constituent, Nazanin Zaghari Radcliffe, has been inspiring. But the Minister knows there are many other Brits being held. Could he please confirm that he will be dealing with all Brits being held by the Iranian regime? And will he also agree that the attempts by the Iranian government to connect the IMS debt and the release of Nazari, N- Zaghari, sorry, Nazanin Zaghari Radcliffe would seem to suggest that she isn't being held on charges that they claim, but actually she's just a hostage. Now that would cheapen Iranian justice. Surely the Iranian government would never argue that case again. Uh, I thank my honourable friend uh, for uh, his question. The British government's position is clear, that uh, we do not link uh, the the debt, and we do not dispute that there is a debt. Uh, We continue to explore options to resolve this 40-year-old debt. He will understand that I am uh, unable, uh, that I will not comment further, uh, because this is uh, an ongoing uh, situation. But he is also right to raise the, uh, the plight of the other British dual nationals, Uh, into tension uh, in Iran, and we make the case strongly and regularly for the permanent release, not just on furlough, but the full permanent release of all British dual nationals held in detention.